Beloved brothers and sisters, when you are married, go out of your way to make sure that your spouse is reassured hundreds of times a day that you adore them, you love them, you they mean everything to you. And to you, they are the most beautiful human being. And try and be that for them. Remember this. Because many people take it for granted. You're married, you know, there is a honeymoon for a little while. And once the moon is out of sight, what happens? The honey disappears. Where does she go? <laughs> Only Allah knows. The problem is, you have been ignoring her. You haven't been talking to her. You don't look at her. You come back from work, you're on your phone, you, on, you turn on the telly, you're busy here, you're tired, you read a few things, you're with your friends, come back at 12. Who are, who are you to do that to her? You're supposed to be a spouse. So fulfill the rights of one another. Because if you don't, my brothers and sisters, the very fabric of society shall be crumbling because a home is broken. One broken, two broken. So many homes are broken because we don't realize the responsibility is great. You are married. Come on, that's it. It's over. Now you concentrate on what you have. Your children need you. They need to grow up. They need you to be a figure there for their mother or father. Remember this, my beloved brothers and sisters. So if you're married, go out of your way. To make your spouse feel special. Not just tonight, but every night. And not just in Ramadan or Eid. No, every day. Go out of your way. To make your spouse feel special. It is an act of worship. To ensure that your spouse feels that you are very closely connected to her or to him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. Let's move on. In the home, it is important for us to liven it up. The children will learn the house is filled with blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy descends in the home. Allah makes mention in Surah An-Nur, verse number 36 of the men who actually praise Allah in their homes. Allah speaks about the homes and how there are men who praise Allah morning and evening in the houses. They praise Allah. Who are those men? They are the men whom their businesses and their buying and selling does not distract them from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They fulfill their salah, they read their Quran. They